What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of Something Amazing. This week we're going to be taking a look at the ultra slim, lightweight, compact keyboard from Coolmaster, the SK630. Let's get into it. So we've been using the Cooler Master SK630 for about a month now and we thought we'd share our experience with you. Cooler Master launched this SK series of compact keyboards roughly about a year ago uh, with three main models which is the SK630 which is a 10 keyless keyboard, the SK650 which is a full size keyboard and then obviously the SK621 which is a wireless Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, they designed these keyboards obviously with an intent to, or directed towards rather uh, creative professionals and more uh, replace, being a replacement keyboard for the Apple ecosystem. Um, it also is it, definitely going to appeal to anybody that wants uh, to clear up space on their desk workspace uh, being very lightweight and extremely tiny and extremely compact. Uh, so anybody that wants a clean workspace with smaller peripherals, this would also appeal to them. So Coolmaster, firstly on the build quality of this, they, it's one of their premium keyboards and it resales in here in South Africa for around 2000 Rand which is in the ballpark figure if you look at replacement keyboards like the Magic Keyboard uh, for your Apple ecosystem. Basically it has a aluminium black backplate which looks extremely good, it's brushed aluminium and gives the keyboard an extremely high quality aesthetic. Uh, the second thing about the keyboard is they using low profile Cherry MX red switches. So if you had seen our Cooler Master MS110 uh, review, we went into detail there about what the different types of switches are out there on the market. And I'll link that in the description box down below so you can check that out at a different stage. But this has the MX red switches which basically are linear switches and at the tactile point you feel like a loss of resistance. So they maintain the same tactile distance, but being a low profile switch, they reduce the travel distance till it bottoms out from four millimeters to 3.2 millimeters. The keycaps are obviously resembles a lot of keycaps that you've seen on many different types of keyboards, namely your Apple ecosystem keyboards and laptops, which are chiclet types of keyboards. What you talking about, Willis? So, the reason it's called chiclets is because the keys resemble the chiclet gum, which is basically square keys that are flat, that have rounded edges. But a big problem with chiclet type of keyboards is that uh, a lot of, if you've been used to using uh, your general types of keyboards, most keys have a concave uh, shape of the, of the keycap itself. And the reason for that is for comfort and also accuracy when finding keys. So what Coolmaster did with this, they maintain the flat flatness of the keycaps, but they calling it the contoured keycaps because in the center of the keycap, there's a slight indentation, which is there once again to improve that accuracy and comfort when using them. So the keyboard also has an amazing RGB setup. Um, it's their premium line, so they're gonna throw the best RGB. But the RGB on this keyboard really looks good. And I think one of the reasons that it looks that good is because the RGB LEDs have a sh lot shorter switch to travel through before it's emitted out into the environment. Uh, and, and I think that's the reason it looks so good. Uh, obviously, this has per key RGB control, which you can set up and use uh, on the fly using the keyboard. You can also set up macros on the fly or you can use the provided software that comes with this keyboard so that you can set individual keys to different colors and you can set up to four profiles for quick change on the go. When you open the box of this keyboard as well, you also get a very, very stylish velvet uh, travel case. 
uh, obviously this keyboard is designed once again for uh, creative professionals uh, a lot of let's be honest a lot of people who use actually Macs so if you've been using a MacBook Pro or if you've been using a laptop uh, your laptop chiclet style of keyboards they usually use scissor type switches or on like the new MacBook Pro have a uh, butterfly switch uh, type of keys and the problem with them is that once dirt etc goes into them they stop functioning so what Coolmas did was obviously try and not uh, go too far from that mold but obviously bring a performance key, a key switch to that market and the Cherry MX switch really does that. So I've been using it like I said for the last month or so, been using it a lot for gaming as well and I find it, it, the performance is just there. Uh, I, I didn't find any difference using this mechanical keyboard compared to other mechanical keyboards that I've been using in the past the only difference that came in was obviously um, the the keys are obviously spaced a lot closer to one another so if you used to a general mechanical type of keyboard uh, it takes some getting used to um, it because I would find that sometimes I would press the wrong key but with some, not with little bit of use maybe like a day or two I got comfortable using this because once again they've got those contoured keycaps that help with accuracy and ease of use uh, around the keyboard itself there's a halo ring that cooler master has introduced into a lot of their keyboards of late and and it's very subtle uh, but extremely effective once again uh, these keyboards obviously like I say it's, it's to target you can be using this in a work environment um, you can turn the RGB off on the keys as well if you don't want RGB in that type of environment and it's not going to take a lot of space up on a desk workspace um, it features obviously a USB type C connection which comes in the box as well which is a comes with a braided USB type C to USB type A with gold connectors on the ends so this cable that's provided as well is going to give you a lot of long-term use um, and they also provide a, uh, a switch uh, removal tool or keycap removal tool for that matter and it's one of the more premium uh, keycap removal tools I have used other keycap removal tools in the past where uh, they actually do scuff or damage the keycaps when you're removing them but this seems to work extremely well and extremely gentle on the keys themselves all right just one last thing an important thing which is the sound test these these keys are extremely silent uh, they're not going to disturb anybody in a work type of environment or if you're using this keyboard for example if you're in a coffee shop doing some quick work etc it's not going to disturb anybody around you and it's going to give you the, obviously that performance benefit so here's the sound test compared to the uh, uh, membrane keyboard and obviously the hybrid ms110 So yeah, that's been our experience with this keyboard over the last month or so. Um, it's, uh, they really did something amazing. Uh, no pun intended. Duh. So anyway, that's been our experience with the Cooler Master SK630 keyboard. Uh, it's really a premium, compact, slim, lightweight keyboard uh, that you can be using on the go. Uh, it obviously is going to appeal to a lot of creative professionals out there and being uh, uh, an extremely good replacement keyboard performance uh, replacement keyboard uh, for the Apple ecosystem that's not going to disappoint you at all um, yeah be sure to uh, I will also link the product pages in the description box down below and be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it comment in the comment section down below and Remember to subscribe. Be a man, do the right thing. And we'll check you in the next one. Cheers, bye.